Hello, welcome, I'm Jessica Rose, and in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you about how to sell your handmade jewelry online. So the first thing that you wanna do if you want to sell your lovely handmade jewelry online is to start building an audience for you to speak to. So pick a social media platform, whichever one you like the most, whether it's Instagram, where I like to hang out, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you like, and commit to being on there and to connecting with people on there, engaging with people on there and building a following. So that is the first step, a really, really important step because that is like your route into your business online. It's how you can drive traffic, it's how you can do marketing, and it's how you can start to have a conversation with people who perhaps aren't quite ready to commit to buying from you, but will give you a follow and perhaps will leave some comments and have a little chat with you about your business so that is the first step next up you want to pick somewhere to sell your work so to pick an online selling platform Etsy is a great place to start if you are new to selling your work online or if you prefer you can create your own website there are lots of easy build websites nowadays like Shopify and Squarespace and Wix and the list goes on so it doesn't matter too much where you sell your work online the main thing is to commit to a platform upload all of your information, your products, your photographs, and just go for it. So we've got our social media platform and now we have our website. In the process of building your website, you're gonna need some simple branding and you might like to pick some colors as well to go along with your branding, just so that when I see your business, I can see the name that you've chosen, your logo, and the colors that are consistent throughout. So I would say you're likely to change all of this within your first year or two of business. So don't put, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just go with your best guess for now. Um, put together a simple logo. You can do it yourself on a uh, program like Canva, or there are lots of free online tools you can use nowadays, and just get yourself up and running. It's important when you're starting a business like this that you get up and running as soon as possible. So don't wait until you are ready, until everything is perfect, because you will never be ready and everything will never be perfect. And all that does is delay and uh, feed into the kind of procrastination, perfectionism route, which we don't wanna go down. So I would say take the pressure off, do a little bit each day to work on your jewelry business and just just go for it. The next thing that is super important when you're selling your handmade jewelry online is to have some really good photographs of your work. So this can take a little bit of practice and time and we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel and also on our website at Jewelers Academy to help you with your jewelry photography. So do check those out. But you wanna get the best photos that you possibly can. You don't always need a lot of expensive equipment in order to get started with taking photos. Just do your best, get them uploaded and get yourself in a place where you are selling. Next, you wanna make sure that you're committing to sharing regularly on your social platform. So if your platform is Instagram, I would encourage you at the beginning to share even more than you will further down the line. So if you can commit to at least 30 days of posting every single day, I know that it's a lot, but that will be a really nice boost at the beginning. It will help to get your confidence up about working on that platform, engaging with people. It also, you know, just to warn you, it does take a little bit of time at the beginning. So whilst more established accounts might post less often and can be a little bit more relaxed about it, I know when I first started my Instagram account, I was posting at least once every day, sometimes even a bit more than that, because I wanted to really kind of, you know, wave and say, I'm here, I'm, you know, I, I want to be seen, I want to connect with everybody. So you might need to do a little bit more at the beginning. So commit to that regular posting and sharing in your stories and using all the features that that social platform has to offer. It's important when you're selling online that you consider your packaging. So you may want to get some packaging printed or to start with, you might want to get some little stickers printed with your logo on and put them on some jewelry boxes as a more sort of easy way to get going or even using colored ribbon that's in your brand colors with some generic jewelry boxes. So you don't have to commit to your packaging for the long term when you're just starting out. Feel free to experiment and explore and see what's gonna work for you before you really 
really invest in all of that because as I said you may well change your branding and your logo within the first couple of years that's been the experience of most of the jewelers that we work with then you also want to have a look at where are you happy to ship to you might want to start with just shipping to your local country to begin with just to make life a little bit easier for yourself and then gradually build in other areas because there are things to consider in terms of your shipping cost and custom fees and how you manage that process with your customers so I would say strip it right back and make it the easiest possible version of what you can do for your business and then you can start gradually adding in layers of complexity as time goes on then once you've done the basics, all that's left to do is to upload your images, your product descriptions and get selling online. Make sure you tell all your friends and family, use your network that you have already. Don't be shy because they are likely to be your first customers and your first brand ambassadors who are going to share about what you're doing and help encourage and support you. And finally, I would say join a community of like-minded jewelers that we have here at Jewelers Academy we have lots of free access to the community in the Facebook groups on our Instagram and also lots of challenges and things that we hold throughout the year make sure you're signed up to the mailing list for those and of course you can join as a member or get more involved in our diploma programs and paid programs too so you can find out all about that on our website at jewelersacademy.com best of luck with launching your handmade jewelry businesses and I can't wait to see them and what you do with them as you develop and grow. If you enjoyed this video do give it a like and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and if you would like to find out more about our free online courses and join our community visit us at jewelersacademy.com.